Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Last four videos I have explained you the theory of foreign exchange market. Now I'm going to start the problem. So many students are requesting to start the problems. Now it is the time. Starting problem are very very important. If you understand the first two problems, then third, fourth, fifth problem, you don't find any difficulty. I have selected only eight problems in this set and these are very important and previously asked questions I'm explaining in detail the first problem I have written the complete I mean explanation for each and every step of how to solve the problem but in examination no need to write all these steps directly we come to the solution in the second problem I'm not going to write all the steps directly we are going to solve the problem so watch the video till the end don't skip in between if you want the perfect knowledge inshallah i'll do my level best to provide all the problems on all the units so that you can feel the confidence in yourself to face the examination of international finance before starting the problem take the screenshot of the points which i have written then i'll explain Come on, first problem. Before the problem, I want my students to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problem, then only you can understand the steps in solving the problem. The first problem, convert the following rates into outright rates and indicate their spreads. So we are required to find out the outright forward rate and indicate their spread. Spread means the difference between bid rate and ask rate. In the theory I told you, the foreign exchange dealer, when he gives the quotation, two quotations are given, one bid rate, one ask rate. Bid rate is the buying rate and ask rate is the selling rate. The buyer, the dealer will buy at one price and sell at another price of the currency. For example, in India, the uh, exchange rate is rupees 85 per US dollar. 85 per US dollar. Suppose this is the buying rate. The selling rate will be 85.50 is the selling rate. So when you ask the quotation to the banker, the banker will give like this 85.00 slash 85.50. First rate is the bid rate. Second rate is the ask rate. So here FFR per US dollar, FFR stands for French franc, it is the currency of France. So FFR French franc per US dollar, right? Spot rate 5.2321 slash 2340. That means 5.2321 is the bid rate and 5.2340. 5 point is not written after slash. It, it is written before the slash. So it means 5.2321 is the buying rate, bid rate, and 5.2340 is the ask rate, selling rate. Now one month, two, uh, three months, and six months. These are the forward. The forward points are given 25 by 20, 40 by 32, and 20 by 26. The forward points are given, whereas spot outright rate are given. We are required to convert the points into outright rates for one month, three month, and six month. See carefully. This is the data given 5.2321 by 5.2340. 25 by 20, 40 by 32, 20 by 26. This is the data given. The quotations for forward rates can be made in two ways. All these things need not be written in the examination. Directly, we will come to the solution. For your understanding, I'm writing. The quotations can be given either in the outright form or in the points form. So this first rate, what is given spot rate, this is outright. This is outright rate. And this 25 by 20, 40 by 32, these are not outright rates. These are the points, right? The forwards are given in points, spot is given so outright. They can be made in terms of exact amount of local currency at which the trader quoting the rates will buy and sell a unit of foreign currency. 
In this case, home currency is FFR and the foreign currency is US dollar because we are given 5.2321 FFR for one dollar. Similarly, 5.2340 per dollar, right? So the dealer can give the quotation, can give the quotation in outright rates. That means how many units of home currency for one unit of foreign currency. Here, one unit foreign currency is US dollar. Home currency is FFR. Now, this is called the outright rate. And it is used by traders in quoting to customers. When, quote, when quotes are given to customers, the banker will give in outright form, not in points form. Right? Secondly, the forward rates can also be quoted in terms of points of premium or discount on the spot rate, uh, which is used by interbank quotations. There will be dealings between one bank with another bank. When the banks are dealing with themselves, they will not quote the outright rate. They will quote the points. These points are either discount points or premium points. These points are either discount or premium. How to identify? I'll tell you now. Now, to find the outright rate, outright forward rate, when the premium or discount on quotes on forward rates are given in terms of points. So if the forward points, forward quotations are given in points, we need to convert that points into outright rates. How? Here. The points are added to the spot price if the foreign currency is trading at forward premium. Remember the point. If the foreign currency is going at premium, add the point. If the foreign currency is going at a discount, subtract the points. Note it down. Immediately note it down when I am saying something because in the coming problems, you have to apply all the rules which I am explaining now. So what is the first rule? The points are added if the foreign currency goes at forward premium. right? The points are subtracted. If the foreign currency is trading at a forward discount, that means we have to see whether foreign currency is going at premium, we have to add the points. If the foreign currency is going at discount, subtract the points. So how do we know whether foreign currency is going at premium or discount? Now, the traders know well whether the quotes in points represent a premium or discount of the spot rate. This can be done in a mechanical fashion. Simple rule is there to identify whether the foreign currency is going at forward premium or forward discount. What is the rule? If the first forward quote that is bid is smaller than the second forward quote ask, then there is a premium. Simple rule. Two quotes are given. Two uh, I mean, uh, points are given, first point and second point. The first point is the bid point and the second point is the ask point. If the bid point is smaller than the ask point, that means the first point is smaller than the second point. It means the foreign currency is going at premium. Then we have to add the points to the spot rate. Spot rate is here. In this spot rate, 5.2321 plus 0 0.0020. Last two digits we have to add. Here 21 is there. 21 plus 20, 41. So 5.2341 is the outright rate. Finished. Similarly, 5.2340 plus 26. The so last two digits, 40 plus 26, 66. So 5.2366, that is the ask rates. So simple. So what is the rule? If the first point is smaller than the second point, the foreign currency goes at the premium, add the points. Khalas. Secondly, if the first in such a situation, points are added to the spot rate. Conversely, if the first quote bid is greater than the second, then it is a discount. In such a situation, points are subtracted from the 
spot price. If the first point is greater than the second point, first point is greater, bid point is greater, 25 by 20, so 25 is greater, first point, first, uh, point is greater, 40 by 32, first point is greater. So if the first point is greater than the second point, the foreign currency is going at a discount. Subtract the points. So how to subtract 5.2321 minus 0 0.0025. 0 0.0025. Similarly, 5.2321 minus 0 0.0040. You will get the uh, outright price. Similarly here also 5.2340 minus 0 0.0020. Last two digits. Last two digits we have to subtract. What are the last two digits here? 20. Oh, for, sorry 40. Last two digits 40. 40 minus 20. So 2320. Similarly 2340 minus 0.0032. So 40 minus 32, you will get 08. So 2308. That's it. These are the rules. Now it is noted that in the present case of forward deals of one month and three months, the US dollar is a discount against FFR. While for six months it is at premium. Just now I have explained everything. If the first point is a smaller the foreign currency goes at premium add the points so here 20 by 26 first is lower so in six month period the foreign currency is going at premium add these points right but one month and three month the first point is greater than the second point so for one month and three month the foreign currency is going at a discount subtract the points that's what it is given. The forward outright rates can be calculated as follows. Ultimately, our solution is here. This is all the explanation. No need to write all these things. Only one step, one or two sentence if you write, that is okay. Simply you have to write, compare the bid, uh, bid point and ask point. If the bid point is smaller, premium add. If the bid point is greater, discount, subtract that's it so here maturity period spot one month three month and six month here spot one month three month six month now bid price and ask price we can call it as bid price or we can call, call it as buying price and ask price is the selling price spread spread is the difference between ask minus bid that's it now first of all the spot outright rate the spot outright rate is ffr 5.2321 per us dollar so here ffr 5.2321 per dollar this is given in the problem this is given in the problem and ask rate is 5.2340 here i have written 5.2340 this spot rate bid and ask is directly given in the problem outright and we have to find out the outright rate for one month, three month and six month. Now see here for one month. Now tell me one month is it discount or premium? It is discount. Because first point is greater. So discount means we have to subtract. From where we have to subtract? From the spot price. Here calculations I have shown you. These are the bid calculations and these are the ask calculations. For your convenience, I have shown separately. So 5.2321, 5.2321, this is the spot outright rate. From this, we subtract 0 0.0025. What is the first point here? 0 0.0025. So 5.2321 minus 0.0025, you get 5.2296. So here we have taken 5.2296. Right? Similarly, come to three months. Three months it is four zero. So point double zero four zero, right? Last two digits we have to subtract. Twenty one minus twenty five. Twenty one minus forty. So five point two two eight one. Similarly, third one. 
5.2321 plus because for six months what is happening the bid point is smaller than the ask point then in this case the foreign currency is going at premium so add the premium so 20 will be added so here 20 added so 5.2341 here 5.2341 so I have explained you the outright rate for one month three month and six month similarly we have to calculate the ask rate what is the spot ask rate 5.2340 here I have taken 5.2340 now we add up 20 right oh sorry first of all uh, which one Ask rate 5.2340 minus uh, these are the ask rate 5.2340 minus 0 0.0020 0 0.2320 for one month for one month it is discount for six months it is premium right so one month how much 20 so subtract 20 here 40 minus 20 5.2320 similarly second 32 subtract 32 5.2340 minus 0 0.0032 2308 last one it is 26 and premium so we have to add the so 40 plus 26 66 the so 5.2366 here 5.2366 that's all so we have converted the uh, forward points into forward outright rates now last one spread is it asking you to calculate yes it is asking you to calculate the spread also spread the formula is spread is equal to ask rate minus bid rate ask rate minus bid rate that means 5.2340 minus 5.2321 you will get 0 0.0019 Similarly, 5.2320 minus 5.2296.0024. 0 5 5.2308 minus 5.2281.0027. 5.2366 minus 5.2341. You get 0 0.0025. That's all. So the problem is converting the forward points into forward outright rates and calculating the spread. That's all. So if you want perfect knowledge, this video is very, very important. Don't watch only once, two, three times with full concentration, with full focus. If you watch this video, if you listen to the lecture, definitely this type of problems are frequently asked in examination, converting the forward points into forward outright rates. Still other problems are also there. I'll explain the other problems in the coming video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Inshallah, we will continue our problems in the next video.